Hi YouTube family! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melissa back with yet another video. Um, this video is going to be kind of short but I kind of wanted to do like a PSA to all current foster parents and future foster parents. Now um, just a couple of things um, and this is all coming from my personal opinion, um, kind of what happened to me in my, in my past foster homes um, and what I would say to, for advice to future foster parents and current foster parents. Um, number one for me uh, was birthdays. Now, none of the foster homes besides one uh, celebrated my birthday. Um, they did it one, I think, to kind of like, they tried to break me. So, um, and I kind of, when I think about it now, it's like it definitely was the case. Um, two, they were just lazy. I guess they just didn't want that to be a thing. I don't know. But, um... For, for me, birthdays are really important. Um, I felt like it kind of made me part of like the family, and you know we're doing like a party together and all this stuff. Oh, what none of that happened um, in most of the homes. So if, like if you're gonna if you have a child, you have to remember that this is now your child. Like you are fostering a child, you are their guardian, you are your parent, you are their support. You are supposed to be there for the child. Um, so if you're not gonna celebrate the birthday, then who is? You know who's gonna who's gonna be that to do that? You, nobody. Like that that's what you're here for. You know, so you got to keep that in mind. That that's very important to children. Um, like I went I went into the system when I was like around eight. So it's like that's very important to a child. Um, another thing I would say is to support their dreams, um, dreams and talents. Um, one that's gonna help kind of make them feel part of your family, as well as to give them something to put. To, to put a focus into uh, something to work hard for because um, you have to remember like they're gonna have all this other negative stuff that's going on in their lives they're gonna have all these things that are happening and just to have something that they can throw themselves into that they're passionate about will definitely make things a lot easier for them to like I said to focus on you know this is having an issue here you know what I'm gonna focus on this and work on this and it'll kind of give them a little bit of a distraction um, as well from things that are happening whether it's with their foster I'm uh, sorry with their um, um, biological family um, another thing you have to remember is a lot of these kids of course come with issues so um, whether it's sexual physical mental or all of the above you have to remember to be kind of understanding of what they have gone through if it's sexual you have to, you have to understand like you know what's what to do what not to do with them just remember their triggers uh you'll learn them as you go um just to be mindful of those um and then you'll it'll make things a lot a lot easier for you not gonna be easy but it'll be easier um another thing is to support them um be there for them they can't um, a lot of them are already going through a lot so they really don't need you on top of their other issues yes you have to have consistency i mean i'm sure there has to be discipline in some areas um so that's and there's nothing wrong with the discipline grounding things like that because you do have to keep discipline in your home i understand that um i i get that just to remember just to be supportive because they are already going through a lot and um but you can still support them and listen to them um, they do like they do want to be heard um, they do have their own stories to tell um, and I'm sure they'll tell you all in good time so just let them kind of um, adjust to your home um, and just kind of be able to open up to you as they feel needed to not being pushed and prodded and, and things like that um, and the last thing I would say is a lot of patience like I said they have a lot of things that are happening um, that are um, that they've got things that they've gone through and it may take a long time and any of you guys who've known me you know for some things it took a long time for me to heal from them from my past experiences whether it be foster care in my, my actual home um, it took a long time for me to heal some of this stuff I'm still going through like yes I feel like I've healed to the point where I'm not triggered every day um, of course I had like really good support from like, my family so I didn't have a lot um of big big issues with my past but like i still have hurt you know from what happened to me as a child um it still hurts my little heart sometimes and i still like occasionally struggle um but a lot of the kids aren't aren't having that support right now so you are gonna be the support but um just to have patience and to be understanding as you possibly can to be as kind as you possibly can and just remember that if you had lost your entire family in one night 
you would have a, a big adjusting period and that's what's happening to these children but the children aren't old enough and mature enough to really be able to process these feelings and these things that are happening to them and sometimes they're not even briefed on what's been going on so um that's just like a couple things i wanted to kind of put out there um if you have any other questions like about foster care um different things like that just please leave a comment um, in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. If you need to privately message me, you can find me on Facebook. Um, Facebook Messenger, I'll answer questions there. Same name under Melissa Hardy. You'll find my, you'll find me on Facebook. Um, same thing as Instagram, Melissa Hardy. Uh, if you're looking for my username, it's um, Melissa underscore Hardy 24. Um, and I would be happy to answer any um, questions. Um, so for now, that is all I have for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share to any current foster parents or um, prospect foster parents. And um, hopefully that can help them have an idea of what to do and what not to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.